In this MLS listings training video, we'll take a look at how to set up searches for just your new listings, either by your custom marketplace, by your brokerage, and then we'll add in auto notifications so you're informed about them via email. From the pro.mls listings website, access matrix search here in the upper right hand corner. You'll be taken to the matrix residential search page, but you'll note you'll only be able to look at single family, townhome condo, manufactured homes, and farms and ranches. For this search, you're going to want to broaden your search criteria by moving to the search tab here in the upper left hand corner and selecting cross property quick as your search option. This allows you to search for all property classes at one time. To search for only new listings, we'll be using the hot sheet option in the bottom right hand corner of the search page. Here you'll enter three pieces of criteria to complete the search. The first will be new listings in the change type. Under location, you'll choose the area that you need to take a look at, your farm, your marketplace. In this case, I'll use the zip code 95070 for Saratoga. And the last piece is the change date option here below the change type. There's a calendar available to choose how far you want to go back in time. But I recommend you use the following method to enter this piece of criteria. And I'm going to type in 0 minus 7. 0 is today, and I'm telling the system to search back in time 7 days for the new listings. You can choose any date frame simply by starting with the 0 and then indicating the number of days you want to go back. And as we can see down here in the matches area in the lower left hand corner of the screen, there are 4 matches that meet this criteria. Any new listing in zip code 95070 going back two days. To finish setting up this search, go to the results so you can save the search. In this case, we're going to use the new auto email option. The first step of the auto email process is to select your name from the contacts drop down menu. If you haven't entered yourself as a contact, use the create a new contact option off to the right here. You'll want to give it a subject line and then continue down to the bottom of this page. Here under settings, I highly recommend that you click on enable as a favorite search on your dashboard. I'll show you why that's important in a minute. And under schedule, I recommend you click the ASAP option so that you get these notifications as soon as those new listings hit the market. When you're done, click the Save button here at the bottom left. And now let's go up to that Dashboard tab here in the upper left hand corner, where you'll see in the Favorite Searches the new search we just included. Not only will you now be getting the email notifications of when new listings come on the market, but you can also come to this dashboard at any time Click on the search title and the results will show up. This time, let's set up a search for new listings for a specific brokerage or office. Once again, we'll use the new listing options here in the change type. I recommend not putting in any location so that you are not filtering out any listing in your results. And once again, we'll use the zero minus option to indicate how many days back we want to go in time. Now, using the scroll bar at the far right hand side of the screen, roll the page down a little bit till you get to the additional fields area. In order to search for new listings from a specific brokerage, we'll need to add a few data fields. You can start by using the search bar here at the bottom of the available fields area and type in the word listing. Now we'll come down this list because we're going to want the listing office broker code and the listing office branch number to go along with it. I then click the add button here in the middle of the two panels 
and those two fields are added to the bottom of the selected fields page. Use the back button here on the left to return to the search page, and by scrolling down to the bottom of the page, you'll see they've been added to the bottom of the list. Now the question you may have is, what's my office broker code? To find out, return to the top of the page, and here on the green toolbar under directory, select the agent option. Type in your first name and last name, and click results. Here in the broker code column, Entero is your broker code, and the one indicates the office number. Once you determine your listing office broker code and branch number, return to the bottom of the search page and enter that information accordingly. Remember, if you leave out the office number, you will then receive in the results all listings from all Intero branches. Return to the top of this page, click on the results button, and here is the list of all new listings in the last two days from any office within the Intero operation. Once again, let's go through that save search process by going to the bottom of the page and selecting save. To use the auto notification process, click on new auto email. And once again, enter yourself in as the recipient of the email, give it a subject line, then scroll to the bottom of the page where you'll indicate that you want to enable this search as a favorite search on your dashboard. And this time we'll use the daily option to say, give me these notifications at 8.30 in the morning and then give me another round of notifications at 6.30 in the evening. Click Save. And once again, if we go up to the dashboard option here at the upper left-hand corner of the screen, we can see the new search for all Intero offices right here. And if I want to check that in the middle of the afternoon before the evening notification is delivered, I can simply click on the title and the results will appear. Remember, always use the search cross property quick option from the upper green toolbar to ensure you don't miss any listings in unique property types like multifamily or lots and land. You'll need to use the hot sheet search option in the lower right hand corner of the screen and make sure you enter the change type of new, location based on your market needs, and the change date using the zero minus concept to indicate how many days of information you want to receive in your results. To set up the auto email notification process, you'll need to be on the results page first. Click on the save option in the bottom left corner below the results and select new auto email from the green toolbar. And in the auto email process, always select the enable as a favorite search on dashboard option so you can access up-to-date results easily.